So what are the different ways we can use a line chart trading strategy? Well, let's look at how we can use line charts with three different methods. We can use the line charts with supply and demand zones. We can use line charts with market structure and we can use line charts when looking for those imbalance zones. So I'm on the EURUSD pair on a weekly time frame, and we're just going to look at the current area of price head to downside, how you can apply all these three techniques using with the line chart. Now, many people don't use the line chart and don't understand how simple this can be. So you can see this is the price action. If we now go to a line chart, we can then start looking at the line chart, applying these three techniques. Let's start with market structure. So in market structure, we can see we have a major swing head to downside where price has basically pushed up. Okay, made a lower high coming out of a zone here of supply. And then we've broken through here and then we've pulled back we swept this high and we continue lower. Now, all of this you can see with a line chart. You don't even need to look at the candlesticks. A line chart will show you the closed prices. So this is a closed price, okay, of a previous swing low. And this is where prices close through that low. And that's the important part. We need to see the close through. Now, this is a major swing we can see in the market. Now, we also have within these areas smaller swings, which we can see with the line chart as we move up and down. And it's also going to show us here the smaller internal structure within those swings. So what I mean by this is when we have this push here, okay, we eventually break through. We then create this new low. And we pull back to sweep this high. And very often what we can see is a breakout, okay, pull back to 50% continuation. Now, what we've got here is what we call the sweep for manipulation. And what it's looking for is something above this high. Now, normally we can see above this high, potentially here, we could have above here. I'm not sure what the candlestick's done. If we've wicked through here, we most probably got an area of imbalance. And that's the other thing we can look for with the line chart. We can find areas of imbalance. The way we understand where imbalance sits is by the move away, the move away from price. Okay, so that's another thing we can look at. Like I said, we've probably got here an area of supply that we can mark out. So we have those three things that we can start to look at and apply. So let's start with the market structure. So we have the market breaking up. We break back down. We drop, we pull back. You can see we break out again. Now, as the market drops down here, we most probably have an area of imbalance that we can pull back into. We also leave an area of supply here when we break out. And we would probably leave an area of supply around here somewhere. Now, we have to go to the price chart afterwards to actually check and make sure everything's in the right order. But as we can see in the market again, we break down here. We're going to leave around here an area of imbalance where we can see price was probably coming back into, where we also see a sweep at this high. And eventually the market does make this break here to downside, which fails and we have a pullback. So on an internal structure, we can see that pullback and then we break back down. So we do then break this low. So we probably have an entry here. We then pull back, sharp pullback to sweep the high. And again, you can see the market breaks lower. So what this then leaves once again is a new area of supply here. Now you would have had a supply zone here, which got removed and failed. So this is where you could have a losing trade. There is no one strategy that you're going to win every single time. Remember, you're never going to win all the time. Now, as we come down here, most probably we're going to find areas of imbalance on this move down. Okay, we have a pullback again, a new area of structure to be broken. Now we make some equal highs here. So most probably we could potentially have a sweep before we drop, perhaps deep into this area of imbalance if we got drawn. And again, as the market drops down, we're going to leave a new area of supply. Hey traders, we'll get back to the video in just a moment, but I wanted to give you a gift for hanging out with me today. I want to give you access to my Telegram community. This trading community will share my chart markups and give you access to my trading strategy. But it's more than just a community. You're going to have some actionable steps to accelerate your growth. We're hanging out with other like-minded traders, all looking to improve their trading. And it's free as my gift to you. So just hit the link above now to join the Telegram community. Now back to the video. And then the market comes back, we pull back and we've just broken to the downside once again, where we will leave an area of supply here, which we class the origin. 
and most probably we'll have an area here where we break through as downside and then we'll have an area here of imbalance so there are supply zones and imbalances in our break of structure that's how quickly and simple you can use a line chart for a line chart trading strategy when you apply the use of market structure supply and demand zones and imbalances so once you've done this and you've gone through your chart quickly marking up the zones where you believe there's going to be we can then quickly go back to the price chart and now what we do we go through the price chart and we make sure everything's in the correct position so what i mean by that we mark off the previous high now this is our last buy to sell move so here there's our last buy to sell move and that's where price comes back into so that's our area of supply we have this area of our structure we break out with this candlestick now what did i say here i said potentially we could sweep above into an area of imbalance. Now look, there's your area of imbalance. To draw this imbalance out, we mark it from the low of this candle to the high of this bullish candle. Now, on this occasion, price never came back to that imbalance. At some point, we may have to come back to fill this imbalance. So we then have this level, okay, where we did push above. Now you can use the wicks, okay, equal highs, but on the candlesticks, we push above this high and we break structure back to downside. Now that leaves me an area here of supply, which becomes my last, okay, buy to sell move. The price does come back and just wicks it. Now, again, we continue with the air of imbalance. The imbalance again on the breakout. See how you can find these zones without even looking at a price chart. The line chart will show you everything there's the imbalance we just fine tune it okay we push in even on this candlestick we wick through the previous candlestick to manipulate through to test that era of supply okay so the imbalance below the supply and then we drop away again this becomes your next breakout level understanding the closed prices okay the wick breakout will be down here so we break out we pull back there is our new area of supply now we don't draw this supply okay until we use this candlestick which breaks out when we draw a supply zone we want to see really the break of the previous swing low but understanding line charts if you're using just the level okay that's a break out of the level that is a break out of the level but this is still the full zone it's the last buy to sell move we then break out with this candlestick look look what i've got drawn here already and you have balance I knew this imbalance would be there just by looking at the line chart. Where does price come to? Okay, we come to test the 50% level of this imbalance. Now we don't come into this area of supply, but we didn't need to. We swept this high, okay, got the orders we needed inside this imbalance, dropped down to take the low. Now let's look at this price action here. The market does indeed, okay, drops down, creates this little swing low. We break structure here on that one candlestick, but we never break that swing low. So you can incorporate the swing lows and highs to help you to find those actual true breakouts. But if you're using just the line chart for a breakout, that is actually a valid breakout. But we really can't draw this area of supply until we remove this swing low, which doesn't happen until here. At that point, we've made that pullback. So again, here, look, this is your true sweep above that high. And then we drop out again this is your break to downside now your area of supply that we can draw this zone goes from the high to the low of this bullish candle that's your area of supply where does price drop and pulls back down into on this candle into that supply now this area we've got drawn of imbalance this time we don't have an imbalance because look there's no zone left in between that candle it shows that big bearish candle we don't have an area of imbalance so the supply held this time it used the supply for the entry again we then okay using this level we break out continue lower our last buy to sell move is this candlestick here so area of supply now we don't come back to that supply in fact what we do have which we didn't draw was an area here of okay imbalance 
That's why when prices come into this imbalance, we held at the high of the imbalance. Now, when we're using imbalances, we're looking at the low, the 50% and the high of that imbalance. We held at that high, okay? So that's how we can use line chart. We just quickly go back to the line chart. That's that move down. See the solid move down. That's how we use, again here, nice move down, but we didn't get one on this zone. A nice move down where the imbalance sits. That's how we use the line chart to find those imbalances. So again, you see price pulls back to imbalance. We never had to come back to that supply this time, and we've dropped out. Now we've used this as our area of our last buy to sell move. So now we've broken out of that zone. Okay, this one wouldn't be such a great zone. I'd now just use this larger zone because this one's internally of this one, so I don't really need it to see. But we can also see the area of imbalance that's been left behind. See? There's our current area of imbalance. So when this candlestick here closes, okay, it creates this imbalance. At the moment, it hasn't closed, but when it does close, we'll have this imbalance. So that is how we can use a line chart trading strategy. When we're looking to mark out our market structure, okay, when we're looking to mark out our supply and demand zones, when we're looking to mark out our imbalances, yes, we do have to go over to the price chart just to validate everything and make sure everything's in the correct position. But using a line chart is much more visually easier to see these areas we go back to that line chart look how quickly we can identify where the breakout points all are where we have the strong pushes to the downside where we see the imbalances okay there's our strong pushes down and we didn't have one here but we have a nice strong push down imbalance strong push down potential imbalance we know from these swing highs is where we're going to see our supply zones and we know that these lows have been broken and highs here to the left. That's where we're going to see those breaks of structure. Now, whether you use the highs of the line chart where the closed prices are or where you use the wicks. Now, I would personally look at using the wicks. They will work better for you for a potential breakout. But if you're using this type of line chart trading strategy, I suggest to backtest it, then forward test it, see what types of results you get and see where it helps you going forward in 2024 with your own trading. Now, if you'd like to follow along with my personal analysis on the USD every day, then why don't you check out the absolutely free Telegram channel and you can sign up on the link coming up right now.